Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Future Predictions Tea Leaf Reading. Thank you to those of you who've recently subscribed and thank you for all of your wonderful comments. I really appreciate all the support. I am going to start with child messages today. I've had to write a few things down and then we'll move um, to the cups. All right. So first of all, there's a connection, a significance about Twilight. Somebody could be thinking of doing a marathon, you know, of all the movies. Also, there's this energy of connecting to the, the dark side, like the dark feminine, the dark masculine, this kind of vampiric energy. Okay. I also have the song Forgiven Not Forgotten by The Cause. This is also being pointed out as a significant energy because there's something here connecting to releasing and seeing something from a different perspective and also finding yourself in a place where you didn't think you would be in regards to this situation, this somebody that required some type of forgiveness, right? Now, there's also someone who doesn't want you to know who you are. There's an energy of someone not wanting you to see your full potential and reach reach your fullest potential this could connect to the song by the cause forgiven not forgotten right there's a necessary there's a necessity here for boundaries and to remember that okay i also hear you did it and to get ready when one door closes another door opens and to continue doing your due diligence i found a coin this morning as i was doing my laundry which was very unusual because I don't carry change on me um, and I knew it was a sign. I checked all the pockets of my clothing and yet this was in there, this five pence, which doesn't seem like a lot of money, but what I understand is the message behind it is that what starts small, okay, can grow. There's something about compound interest and this can also be, you know, like compounding abundance, right? All the goodness that you put out there, it doesn't matter how small of a gesture it was, it's gonna reach you again. It's gonna return to you, okay? return to you it will bless you everything you've put out okay the investments that you've made and again it doesn't have to be monetary right this is just your energy and what you've put into people places and things okay i'm seeing that come back to you you know three times ten times however many times fold the universe is bringing that to you I also understand that it is to do with something that is specific about finances and there is something that you're receiving that you're owed, okay? Uh, and also it's something that there can have been delays on, a period of three to six months. And this can also be a period of three to six months to come, right? Connecting to money that is owed and money that you will also discover, something about you discovering, okay? And one more message from the coin there, you're going to find something that you lost, something that you thought had been lost. And it also is in regards to an opportunity that you thought you missed out on, you actually didn't. It was still there waiting for you, but it just wasn't the right time. This is now gonna be better timing that I'm seeing ahead, okay? All right, those are the child messages. I will show you what you have to choose between. Cup one is the lavender. And cup two is the pink carnation. If you need more time to choose your cup, you can pause the video and come back when you're ready. Otherwise, I'm going to begin. Hello cup one, welcome to your reading. You chose the lavender. Let's take a look at your cup. Okay. So right away, I'm hearing something to do with lineage. Lineage and also heirloom, okay? There's an energy of an heirloom being pointed out and also about finding out something about you your family, your family history, your family tree, okay? There's a discovery here, discovery energy. And I'm seeing that you're going to be discovering more about who you are, where you come from, and your family, okay? And I see that this will involve some travel for you because there's energy of going to specific places and locations regards to finding out particular information. And it's also because 
in some cases there's a requirement you will have to go to these particular locations to receive something touching on this heirloom energy there's something that you're receiving that is a, a physical item of some sort or a physical documentation okay regards to family heritage and i see that the places that I'm being shown are close by each other. There's something about the same difference, the same difference. So they can be close to each other, but yet they are different. And in some cases, there's just a body of water that separates them, but it's not big. It's not big that separates these countries that I'm seeing, okay, in different parts of the world. I also have an ax here. So there is a cutting, there is a clearing, and I'm seeing this as you kind of going forward and removing whatever's in your way. Like you're not stopping, you're not giving up that easily. You're not giving up on yourself. And in some cases, finding out, right? Finding out the information about your family tree, your family history. And also it's about progress. This acts, I see as no matter how hard the challenge, okay, no matter how big that tree trunk is, you know, that big piece of wood to chop, it's like you, you're building muscle here. And in some cases, this is literal, it's physical muscle being built, right? You're building, you're strengthening. You'll be doing strengthening exercises. You're going to be doing strengthening, strengthening exercises. But it's also like in the energetic sense, that's strengthening your energetic bodies and your aura. It's a manifestation of that, right? showing up in the physical when I'm saying some of you I see you actually doing strengthening um, training of some kind so going back to this no matter what no matter how big this log is no matter how you know high uh, high these weeds are this this forest okay <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna keep going through you're gonna charge through okay um, and I do see a horse here and there is a person riding this horse and this person is like up um they're not sat on the horse so like there's a galloping energy here so you know again i'm seeing you galloping you know galloping forward galloping through onto your next chapter in life right there's no stopping you where there's a will there's a way there's no stopping you cup one and you'll find solutions you'll be able to see clearly as well so with that axe energy and it's like a the clear the clearing is becoming clear right like you can have plain sight things won't be hidden from you so this is also telling me that there will be an increase in your sight right your third eye your abilities to see beyond to see beyond the veil that's going to get thinner that veil is going to get thinner this also gives me energy of the chariot okay the chariot energy, uh, the major arcana. And also, it's as though this person is trying to like pull this horse into a different direction. It's like, come on, go this direction, go this way. Like, you know, trust me. So I hear that you know what is best for you, Cup One. You actually know. And there's something about a partner in crime you know, this person and this horse, it's like their partners in crime, like where you go, I'll go. There's an energy of a lover here, okay? There's an energy of a lover. As we are looking at predictions, and I do have this sense of this lover is coming towards you. So this is future, okay? This is a future lover that will be like a partner in crime. There's also a bird here, okay? This bird is perched on a on a tree okay and for some reason i hear this bird sings okay this bird sings so there's a particular bird that sings a particular sound it's very beautiful from what i'm understanding um you know chirping yeah a chirping so you can expect also cup one to be embodying a more of a chirpy energy okay as in happy right kind of chirping your way um through life after this challenging you know this grueling kind of I'm getting through this getting over these obstacles nothing's going to stop me there will come a, t a period a moment in time when you get to stop and stand still okay and have a rest and this bird also we know birds are messengers communication so there's important communication coming 
okay there's uh, for many of you this is overseas there's overseas um, important information coming okay communication uh, going back to this riding energy there is also something about riding the wave so here cup one you may have been waiting to ride out a particular moment scenario situation like i'm just going to ride it out i'm going to wait it out there's this kind of waiting period i did touch on that in the channeled messages okay so if you didn't listen to those that may have some further information for you because there's kind of this yeah like i'm gonna ride it out i'm gonna wait and see i'm gonna wait and see what they do or what the situation does right I see a huge uh, bouquet of flowers. This represents energy of good positive news, also celebration. And there's something about new life, okay? There's something about new life. This can be, yes, a new life literally coming, you know, into, um, into the world. But it's also kind of like, it's, it's acknowledgement, right? It's acknowledgement of some type of success, of some type of completion and these flowers, okay are connected to that huge bouquet this is not a small bouquet of flowers huge so this is very significant mm. okay so i see a broom here okay a broom so certainly, um, you know, go, getting back to that clearing, you know, clearing the way, clearing the passage, having plain sight and clearing out. So there's definitely energy here of you um, having ab abilities here, abilities to be able to uh, not only clear out, but transmute. This, this broom is not an ordinary broom, it's magical. And I now see a witch's hat, so I'm definitely connecting to some witches here, okay. I hear Bruja, so you know, of course, some of you may have um, ties to the Spanish language. You may be from a part of the world where it's Spanish speaking, okay, but there is definitely um, some kind of uh, energy connecting there, okay, to a witch, which is, which is energy making things happen. Yeah, and also I hear that this broom is good luck. There's something about good luck, almost as though you're sweeping good luck into your home. Um, yeah, sweeping good luck into your life. There's also importance of a mountain here, okay? A mountain, overcoming obstacles, yes, but this is also um, a reference to a particular place. Um, and this is somewhere different to where you are. This is overseas and it is below the rider on the horse. So this person, this lover, this lover is coming from somewhere different to you, okay? Somewhere different, they're in a different location. And for many, the dominant energy is this person is abroad, they're overseas, okay? They're not in the same country as you. Mm -hmm. There's also a tribal energy here in cup one, okay? A tribal energy. I'm seeing um, a tribe, a tribe's person here, okay? Um, th this person is wearing a huge, huge headdress. The significance about a headdress here, it's huge and very colorful and bright, okay? This person is sitting down, that there's, this person is honored. There's an honor in here. This can be somebody's anse ancestor, my apologies. This can be somebody's ancestor here, okay? Because um, this this energy feels quite ethereal. They're looking down on you because they're up and they're looking down. They're looking down as if they can see like all of your life and they're guiding you, okay? You have strong spiritual guidance here in cup one, okay? Each and every step you're protected and guided. Okay, I'm gonna see some cards for you, Cup One. All right, yeah. 
So we have Nine of Inspiration, which is Nine of Wands in the Tarot. And we have the Tower, okay, from the Oracle deck. So the Tower is representing that spiritual power, okay? So I am also certainly here speaking to a High Priestess. There's a High Priestess, a High Priest energy here, okay? And this is an energy of someone who's been initiated. Now, this is about future and future predictions. And while I have initiated it's like a past like this already happened i'm seeing many of you already be there there's some kind of leveling up there's some kind of increase okay there's some kind of increase and it's to do with your origin your family heritage your your dna okay also i'm seeing some of you are going to find out you have some kind of aristocracy in your bloodline aristocracy and royalty okay um yes yes i have my confirmation my goosebump confirmation uh some of you are going to make a really great discovery okay also something else from that is your family your family lineage they made a big discovery there's something here where um many of you watching you had people before you in your family bloodline who did very intelligent very um oh, innovative that's the word innovative uh, projects and dis made these discoveries that had an effect on our future and i'm seeing that is a message for you that what you do now is going to have an effect on the world your community in the future really really powerful energy here and the tower also represents that strength that pillar of strength Nine of inspiration is that movement right it's that movement it's the communication and if you look at the woman on the card, you know, she is confident. She's like, bring it, bring it to me, bring the information. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the news. I'm ready to go. Okay. It also is telling me your sacral chakra is significant here. Cup one, your sacral chakra. Okay. There can be healing going on there. But there's something about it being a power center and connected to how you manifest. Okay. I hear beauty queen. You know, it could be a, a king, queen. It doesn't matter here. But there's something about beauty, beauty, attractiveness, drawing in. Um, I do hear now like money drawing. Somebody could be doing a money drawing ritual. see a hand with many rings someone who wears many rings and this is not you know doesn't matter about gender here this is either or right i just know i'm seeing a hand with many rings this hand is powerful drawing drawing in something money love luck right we have the death card so you know this is certainly a transformative a transformative period you will be entering into here cup one okay because I see that you passed something here. You passed a test. And so that's done. That's over. Over with. Ten of emotions. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. See? So this goes back to this family heritage and finding out important information. But there's celebration around it. There's success around it, right? Celebration, success. There's a completion. Ten. There's, a, you know, the death card being there. There's a completion. And it's like turning over a brand new leaf, so to speak, right? Gonna get you some cards from Oracle Deck. Yeah, Ten of Emotions, Ultimate Fulfillment, Emotional, particularly Emotional Fulfillment. And it's coming from that energy of knowing who you are. Um, yeah, for some reason I have this reference to Moana, but it is that song, Remember Who You Are, right? That song in Moana. Stalk, yeah stock blessings blessings okay fruitfulness and in many cases an expansion of a family there's a growth of a family as in new right new entering the stock is one of the pregnancy cards yes a blessed pregnancy a blessed new life okay this does not have to be you the viewer that is getting pregnant, being pregnant, um, but certainly there is 
a connection here to your family and a beautiful blessing in regards to pregnancy and a baby, right? And also this is that spiritual, like spiritual fertility, right? It, on the spiritual level, on the energetic level, like you are fertile. You are fertile, okay? And this is moving away from the actual, you know, a new life manifesting in the physical. I'm making reference to, you know, you are fertile. And we had, we touched on this sacral chakra energy, right? Something is healing there and you're being able to access your fertility, your energy that births new ideas, new projects, birthing new powers even. Okay, extremely powerful energy today. And I see that here, cup one, you are going to be able to move forward and not look back. There's something about not looking back. Like once you've done the next steps and what I've seen in the cup, traveling to places, connecting to your family lineage, your heritage, okay? The, it's like the end of the investigation. It's like the end of, wow, I no longer need to think or wonder. That is done. I'm now free. There's like a sense of freedom. And I, and I have that coming from Nine of Inspiration. This sense of freedom. Okay. That was your reading cup one. I hope you enjoyed that today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon for another one. Bye for now. to light my incense <clears throat> light my incense all right <clears throat> now i want to clear my throat interference some kind of interference let's see i'm hearing don't forget about me don't forget about me somebody doesn't want you to forget them cup two um we will see what this is about their energy is very strong and they have a lot they want to say to you so all right welcome to your reading cup two you chose the pink carnation okay hmm. i'm forever yours is what I'm hearing. I'm forever yours. I'll always be yours. Um, I'm seeing in my mind's eye when you can buy joint bracelets or joint necklaces. You know when necklaces or a bracelet can join together, like a love heart is in two and then it joins together. And um, There's something like this. There's some kind of um, significance surrounding jewelry. Jewelry that was given, jewelry that was shared, um, between two people, okay? I do have, this is more of a romantic energy. This could even be matching tattoos, okay? There's some importance here regards to who is, oh, I just knocked the camera. Um, who is coming through right now with these messages. So we haven't got to your cup yet because they're kind of uh, intruding. <laughs> um, yeah, this person <clears throat> wants to be heard, okay. Mm. Wow. Okay, right away I'm drawn. Um, I'm trying to find that out. There is a cross, a crucifix. Wow. That's actually my first time seeing such uh, a crucifix in the cup. Because it almost... It's almost embodying like the image here of Jesus. Okay. I've seen crosses, but I've not seen it where it's like this. Okay. There is a very powerful energy here. Okay. In cup two. You are heavily protected. And in some cases here, you've had to uh, be very, very strong, strong with someone. This could be the energy I'm, I've been getting okay right away and i was instructed to light my incense because uh, they're very dominant 
and I see that you've had to really pray about this. You've had to really pray. It doesn't mean you necessarily pray to Jesus, you work with Jesus, but it's that energy of you called on a higher power. And overall, the cross represents protection. Right? My ears started ringing. Hmm. Okay. Right. So there's going to be three months here. Three months. Three months, and you're going to be setting sail. Okay, you're going to be setting sail, come to. You're going to be setting sail and this is going to be a blessed setting sail a blessed journey okay a heavily protected journey i'm getting this energy of tattoos again okay so there's also significance about tattoos in the future for some of you and these tattoos will be spiritually connected now setting sail it's not for everyone that it means there's a leaving where you are, like going abroad to overseas. It's not only that. It's the setting sail finally towards your path and being on your journey and your life. Something is standing up, up again. I'm hearing the ignition of a car. Okay? And I'm hearing, I'm hearing to pay attention to the blind spot, right? So some references here to, to the car. Now this is in the spiritual sense, in the energetic sense, like pay attention to your blind spots. Something that you may have thought wasn't significant is significant. For you to be able to set sail, okay, and to move forward. So I'm, I feel I'm being pulled. You, you may feel the sensation also come to like an energy of, you know, something is pulling me back. Something is trying to stop me, okay? But you're not going to be stopped. You're not going to be stopped, okay? You are going to be able to move forward. And I'm hearing enter a peaceful period, enter a peaceful chapter in your life, okay? I see an owl. So owls are significant here, okay? This may be a connection to some of you. Um, this is a, a special kind of owl. Um, I hear that this is associated with particular deities, gods and goddesses, okay, saints. Mm. Cup two, it's about healing, okay, it's about healing and healing particular patterns here. I'm seeing that you're going to be healing particular patterns and releasing, in some cases, toxic cycles, okay? I see that you're going to have new means there's going to be new means coming in and if you listen to the town messages i have this energy of money crossing your palm right money crossing the collective's palm money showing up this 5p is what i found today right and you're going to have the means the means to set sail okay I hear what's done in the dark will come to light. All right, so there's also, um, going back to this three months, there's energy here of this three months time and some kind of formal formal closure, formal, um, like a stamp of approval, like that's done. So for some of you here, there's an energy of, you know, you had to go through an actual process and I'm seeing this process three months of when you click on this video, 
is going to be finalized. There's an ending, there's a finalization, there's an ending, okay? And this ending is setting you free. I'm seeing a shoe and something to do with if the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, okay? And it's almost as though um, somebody tried to fill your your shoes, fill your boots, you know, something like this. Somebody tried to, you know, be you somehow, you know, in a way, like take what you have, take your blessings, right? And I hear something got cancelled, that there was a cancel, like a spiritual cancelling, an energetic cancelling. Cup two, this is very much so about getting rid, okay? I'm seeing you getting rid here of a very heavy, a very heavy energy, um, a heavy period, um, which I'm hearing you have navigated excellently. There's something here about excellence. You, you've really navigated things in a really excellent manner, okay? This is how I'm receiving it. Because I see that here, each time something came up, each time you knew and recognized, oh, this is similar, this is a pattern, this is, you You acted, you did something, like you You took on that awareness, you, you grew, there's so much growth here. And if you look at the bottom of the cup, there's like this huge tree, this huge tree, you see that? That's also spiritual protection, but it's also representing that, that growth and how rooted you are and also how rooted you're going to be in yourself, okay? Nobody has control over you. Nobody is going to have control over you, including this person, this energy that was interfering at the beginning of the reading. Yeah, there's going to be a hidden, a hidden blessing here. Of course, it won't be hidden for much longer when it's revealed to you and it comes into your life. But there is a hidden blessing. I see a love heart and this love is protected. It's kind of all enclosed in. Okay, so again, this protection. Wow. And this love, this future love I see coming in cup two is going to be protected there's something about being afraid i might break it i might hurt it i might break it okay something is fragile this could be representing you know your heart you you feel it's fragile but i'm seeing that this love this love coming in is going to be protective of that, protective of your heart. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to see some cards for you and I want to say that the energy that was trying to come in that will pass that will pass and I'm not going to go into that because it's not that it's not relevant no but it's under control is what I want to say okay so let me see some cards for you three of inspiration yeah look at that moving on and the rat yes yes okay Sorry, the mouse, this mouse, but I said rat because that was the energy. Somebody, all right, so three of one, uh, three of one, three of inspirations, moving on, leaving, leaving the situation, leaving the past behind, leaving something that doesn't serve you behind. And the mouse, the mouse is that, it's a niggling, actually, this card in this deck when the mouse comes out. It's a niggling energy here, okay? It's also like a kind of nibbling away, uh, could be putting holes 
in finances. You may, you may cup to here have felt like you lost abundance and finances here, right? Abundance, which then, you know, manifested into loss of finances. Because there's something about financial recovery, about financial recovery. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yes, seven of materials, seven of pentacles. Look at that. Look at that. You are going to recover financially. Your abundance, what belongs to you by divine right, look at that. It's coming back in. It never really went away, but there's something about access to it. Access to it. And where there was an actual loss, right? Something was overpriced, you overcharged. This can be in the energetic sense, which manifested as money, right? Something cost you too much when it comes to what was in these patterns, right? These repetitive patterns that didn't serve you. That cost you something which manifested as in a physical reality as money. So you, you've you paid your dues here, right? You've paid your dues. And it's not because there was something like, oh, you had to pay. Like, I, you know, I uh, owed in that spiritual sense. No, it's not that. It's just the energy of that cause and effect, right? And how it manifested, how it showed up for you. Because there was a lot of confusion. I had like so much confusion energy. That's why I was instructed to light my incense. I had to cleanse. I had to clear. And I paused for some time as when I was reading the cup. Because I, I had to try and get to the end. I had to try and get to it, right? And this is also that energy of like you getting. I need to get to myself, I need to get to my life. And you will look at that. Okay, let's get you another one from the Muse Tarot deck. Very deep healing messages today. Beautiful. Oh, flipper, we got a flipper. Look, Muse of, Muse of Materials, Ace of Pentacles. Do you see that? Look at that. You, you may feel like you're starting from scratch, Cup 2, but you're not. You're not because while it may feel like you're starting from scratch and some losses may be overwhelming regards to the finances particularly right that's going to show up quicker it's going to come in quicker three of inspiration is one's energy the fire energy so there is a timeline time speeding up shifting right these are oracle cards Let's see what i have to say Okay, the sun. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> right? Literally. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. So this is also long term. Long term. And the energy of that, that, that look, that, that look coming back in blessed blessed mountain oh yeah yeah blessed blessed and assistance from a higher power and i'm just going to show you what's on the bottom of the deck because look at this look at that come on now Look at that. There is that heart, that love. Your heart. Look at this. And I have to say that for some of you, okay, and I also had this in Cup One, um, this love, this new love. Also, before I get to that, the love you have for yourself, right? This newfound love. I'm seeing this as self love, the sun and their love heart there together. And then the mountain is like big, a big love for yourself. Big up yourself. <laughs> I just want to say it like that, like, I don't know. It just came out that way, right? Um, you know, and yeah. <laughs> There's so much joy, like I'm, I'm giggling now because I feel that ahead, 
the energy you'll be in is this kind of light-hearted, like joyful, giggling again, laughing again, laughing up life. Um, and it's it's going to be big. Now, getting back to what I was saying about um, the overseas and the love I see, right? It's this person is different to you. They come from a different place, different lands, different culture, different background. For some of you coming in, this will be the love of your life. And you're going to be this person's love of their life. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Cup 2 like share subscribe <laughs> and thank you for watching bye for now